Hello everyone, today is the day when we will be trying to finish all the tiny bits before disassembling what's on the car already and the uh, first job gonna be install this one EWAP can delete and I'll give you a bit of explanation about removing this guy so this is uh, the hose from the bottom of it and uh, you can safely remove it because it goes nowhere the blue one goes to atmosphere and another one just caps so I guess you understand basically what I'm gonna do you can see this blue hose so I'm gonna cut it then install this guy so I had to use PVC tape to make our hose bigger for our filter and I cut the blue one like that we have our turbo clocked, so I guess that I'll start disassembling everything. I won't be able to install the turbo and manifold separately, so I'll have to assemble everything together. And that's impossible for one man, because uh, with all the bits attached it becomes very heavy. So I asked my girlfriend's brother for help and he accepted. At the moment there is about 1200 spent there is a chance that we may blow a head gasket but let's not think about it i'm gonna start with a wastegate so i removed wastegate i'll have another job with this guy i need to unbolt those bolts and there should be two springs inside of it i guess and now i'm gonna disconnect exhaust and then think what would be the easiest and simplest way to get manifold and turbo out so the turbo is pretty much clocked it should sit like that now i'm gonna remove an exhaust manifold so we have manifold removed and the job with this guy grind this one to make it straight do something with this one and that one so i managed to clean inside of those i used this type of bits and we have it's not like a perfect fit but it should do the job hello everyone and today i came here to assemble our turbo onto an exhaust manifold bam 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 so first i'm gonna clean rust with a sandpaper i have p600 then probably on Monday I'll be bringing wastegate to a car shop to open it and see if there is two springs inside or only one. Right now I'm gonna clean old rust so I will be able to install gaskets and uh, turbo. I guess it's time for the big guy. Doesn't look too good. I'll put something in this hole. Oh, now I think we will have a problem because probably I won't be able to unbolt this guy without a clocking turbo. I marked uh, the position because i'm not able to remove this guy this blocks my way so i'm gonna clock turbo one more time i have to loosen those bolts so we have this one nice and clean now you may ask me how to know which side is oil feed and which one is drain the feed one usually comes with a restrictor and uh, drain it's just a hole now i'm gonna send this guy then this guy then i'm gonna send this side of this guy so we have everything nice and clean now looks like brand new and those as well i'm gonna install oil drain and then i'll start to assemble everything onto this guy we'll need a gasket 
and uh, I have brand new bolts. I'd like to put a washer. I'll show you. I'm gonna use these guys. Ooh la la. No. So it looks like I had to loosen those bolts and uh, lose my clocking again. And another issue that my bolts was too long, so I had to cut a little and uh, I think only one bolt to cut left. And then I'll tighten those bolts, clock it again and install this guy. All the bolts tightened and turbo clocked. I overdid with a that bolt. I used too much force, but let's hope nothing bad will happen. This guy left and we have everything assembled on the exhaust manifold. Only one fail with one of these bolts, but other than that, everything's fine. So now I'll have to catch that guy who promised to help me and we'll see if it really fits. So see you tomorrow and definitely see you tomorrow because I still have lots to do. I'll try to install a holder for a wire underneath the car and that wire is from our wideband O2 sensor and I still have to make a way for this wire underneath these guys and it must find its place under the steering wheel for exact same wire we need a holder underneath the car because it may catch prop shaft or exhaust and then minus 100 so we don't want to lose it but to be honest i dropped that o2 sensor previously and now let's hope everything works as it should and now i'm going to find a holder or maybe two I did it. I uh, screw some holders for the wire. I'll try to show you if you'll be able to see. I had to loosen an exhaust because it was impossible to screw that screw. So we have one there. Then that guy is hanging near our prop shaft where the light is. The wire is pretty stiff. I'll have to cut this one and probably put back an exhaust. But I think it's enough for me for today. And I'll be going home. And and. I'll be taking a wastegate with me, I'll be bringing tomorrow to a guy, so he may be able to disassemble it, as we need to check what's inside, it should be two springs, if it's only one then I'll have to order uh, one proper spring for our boost levels. And, and today when I got back home I place an order for a silicone hoses, because tomorrow that guy coming, oh my hands, <laughs> dirty hands because that guy coming tomorrow to help me and let's hope for the best and let's hope everything assembles as it was before looks like i overslept a little and it's 11 o'clock and we have a diner break in the auto shop where i'll be bringing this guy so i guess i'll have to wait about an hour and a half and then i'll be bringing this guy and i'll be going to the garage and then we'll try to install our manifold onto the engine